Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Marcio Marinho here. And this is the channel where we talk about everything related to software engineering and technology in general. Today, I'm bringing a very exciting topic to you guys, which is cloud computing. Without further ado, let's deep dive into the video. What is cloud computing exactly? Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services, such as servers, disks, storage, networking, databases, software, analytics, and or intelligence over the internet. Cloud computing provides faster innovation, flexible resources, and economies of scale. And that is because we only pay for what we are using instead of paying for everything else that we don't need. And that helps companies to reduce costs, to run things more efficiently. And also, it enables companies and also entrepreneurs and professionals to scale up and down their business the way they want and whenever they need. So this is the short, quick and sweet explanation of what is cloud computing. But let's deep dive a little bit more and understand why is it so important nowadays. Let's do a quick comparison between the old model, which is on-premises, where the companies, they used to have everything, against the cloud, where cloud providers, they provide all the services the companies need. First item is physical space. On the on-premises world, that is something very costly because the company needs to have a building or some kind of facility to have all their equipment, networking, cables, disks for replacement, everything else they need to make their hardware and software solutions to work. So the companies have to pay for that. When you look at the cloud, the company or whoever is buying the service doesn't have to pay for anything. We only pay for what we use. If we want to use storage only, we only pay for storage. If you want some computing power, that's it. We only pay for that item. So the cloud wins, it's really cost effective. Another point is deployment and scalability. On the on-premises world, that is really hard because companies, they usually use to have those budgeting at the beginning of the financial year. And whenever they allocate a budget, they had to spend everything and usually buy more than they needed because they may or may not launch a new product in the near future and they would run out of capacity. So there was always a, an overspending on that way. On the cloud, that's the opposite. That's pretty simple. We only use what we need and scaling up and down, it's extremely easy. Third item is security on both physical and logical aspect of it. Because you have to have some security guards to guard the entrance or any aspects of the perimeter of the facility. And you probably need some surveillance systems. You need people to secure the data and everything else. And not only that, but also securing the data because things can fail. All cloud providers, they have their own data centers and they take care of their security systems and security employees security our data as well because they have many data centers in many different locations so they can replicate our data another point which is a related topic is fault tolerance what happens if something fails for example if the data center fails if power fails if the cooling fails and things start frying that's a huge problem and on premises it's even harder to to maintain that because the company needs to have multiple locations where they can replicate their stuff and it's extremely costly. And that's completely provided by the cloud providers as they have their own data centers in multiple locations, multiple cities and multiple countries. And the last point is maintenance and housekeeping. So as I said before, all of these things can fail. Disks, networks, power and anything else we can think of. Someone needs to 
go physically there and keep those things up and running. On the on-premises, that's all the cost that goes towards the company. On the cloud, the cloud providers, they take care of everything. So again, cloud wins. You know, just to summarize, I'm going to give you guys a few statistics about the cloud computing world right now. Globally, the cloud computing market will surpass $1 trillion by 2028. The global cloud marketing grew between 2010 and 2020 around 653%. More than 90% of organizations use cloud solutions. Organizations with 1,000 or less staff, they invest heavily in cloud. So that's it for cloud computing, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the explanation. And please don't forget to hit the like button. Also click on subscribe and click on the bell button so you won't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.